Everybody, welcome back to another uh, Ways of Floppa tutorial. This is probably gonna be the last episode. We're gonna add some some needed stuff. We're gonna we're gonna do saving this this episode, and we're gonna add age um, because those are two pretty important things, I guess. So people seem to like age. I, I wasn't gonna implement it, but somebody asked me to, so I will show you how to do that. So you want to grab your hologram. You want to raise it up a good bit, and then duplicate it. Move the duplicate down. And rename the duplicate to age, or hologram to actually, that'd be better. Let's move both of these down. I feel like they're a bit high. I don't know. I'm, this is for me. I don't have to do this. Okay, so now, now let's go to the script inside of our billboard GUI. And instead of, we'll do age, we'll move the percent at the end, and then we'll do game.workspace.age.value. So now we have to add the int value age. And then let's put a script inside of it. And then we'll do while wait 60 do. So the, the, the number here is how many seconds you want it to be until the age ticks up. So we'll do he, he gets older every minute. And then we'll do script dot parent dot value equals script dot parent dot value plus one. So now we have like a we should have a completely functional age feature. Let's look at the holograms, make sure they're looking good. Uh, looks like there may have been an error with the second one. <clears throat> it's weird how there isn't any display. Oh, okay. I know why. <laughs> um, so we need to grab this easy weld, and we need to grab we need to select human root part hologram one and two, and let's hit join in place. Okay, it's because I didn't weld it. Um, I'm sorry about that. So it says his age is zero. Um, so we can then set his age to ninety, and it'll update. So there we go, and his age. This will go up every minute. Um, I don't. I don't need to test this. It, I'm pretty sure it works. If it doesn't work, tell me in the comment section down below. Um, but I, I, I have no reason to test it. I've done scripts like that a lot before. Let's just, uh, for you know, quality's sake, we'll change this to H zero just to make it look better in studio. And we know what it we know what it's for too. Um, okay. So now we're gonna get into the real complex thing, which is data store. Um, I hope you're ready to sit down and have some fun and do some fun, fun coding. Cause this is probably my least favorite thing to code, <laughs> um, but you know it's not too hard. Pretty easy to understand for beginners. So let's get into it. So let's inter insert a new script into Workspace. We're going to change the name of this to Data Store, just for organization. Now we're going to do local DSS equals game get service, um, which we, uh, Data Store service. And then local ds equals dss get data store server and then we're going to do local purchased equals game dot workspace dot purchased okay so now we're going to do um play uh we're going to do game okay well first of all you need to set this up here you need to set up like a little save thing or you don't even have to do that and then you have to set up a proximity prompt with save on it <clears throat> Then we need to do game.workspace.save.proximityprompt.triggered connect function. Then you put player there. <coughs> okay. <clears throat> so make sure you have all this down. Um, pause the video if you need to. Okay. So now we're going to do ds um, set async. Then we're going to do uh, player.userid space dot dot. And then in quotes, we are gonna do, um, let's save money. So let's save money, money. And then we're gonna do comma. And we're gonna do game.workspace.money.value. And then we're gonna do game.workspace.money, uh, or sorry, game.players.playerAdded, 
connect uh, connect function, and then we're gonna put player here, um, <clears throat> and then we're gonna do ds. Okay, well, we're gonna do uh, game dot workspace dot money dot value equals ds get async player dot user id dot dot money. So there we go. That's what we need to do. Um, now this should theoretically save our money, but we have to hit the save icon there. So let's run. Our, that's the wrong thing to have pressed. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, play here. Okay, so now we go, we click on this guy, and we click that. And as you can see, it saved our cache. Okay, so now that we know it saves the money, we can continue. So basically, we're going to write a new, uh, we're going to copy this, and we're going to save the age as well. So to do that, we just need to replace the money with age here. Now let's write a different line for purchase, because that would just be easier. So ds set async player dot user id dot dot, and then we'll do blue, which is the first one in our little save. And we'll do comma game dot workspace dot uh, or actually we'll do purchase dot blue dot value um, and then we'll just copy this line and paste it a couple times over exactly how many you need to and then we could replace this with green and replace this with green we could replace this with little Go ahead and do this for all the lines you need to. And we'll do this for purple finally. Okay, so now to go down here, do game.workspace.age.value equals ds get async player dot user id dot dot age. Okay, so now we can do um, purchased dot blue dot value equals ds get async player dot user id dot dot and then uh, blue. Let's uh, just copy this line, paste it in a couple times, and then we'll do uh, green uh, little. It doesn't really matter, like in the order you do this in at all. Uh, I'm just doing it in the order I see them in. You don't have to do that. Um, you could do purchase first if you wanted to. Just, just saying, it's not really that important. Um, little. Okay, so now it saves and loads the data. So now we need to make the losing system. So go to replicated storage and you need to insert a remote event. Um, so I'll just do that again. Remote event, then rename it to delete. And then go over to your starter player scripts, go to local script, and then what you need to do is you need to do game, that replicated storage dot delete, um, and then fire server, and then type in games dot players dot local player, and this is the script in starter player scripts for uh, losing, and then you need to wait a little bit of time to kick the before you kick the player, so do wait 0.9. Okay, so now we can go back to our data store script. We do game dot replicated storage dot delete and then dot on server event connect function and then type in player there and hit enter. So now we're gonna copy the DS set async code and then we're gonna remove purchase.purple.value. We're just gonna remove the thing after the everything after the commas. Then we're going to do instead of set async we're going to re replace set with remove let's just copy that okay so this is our full data store file obviously add a line if there's a new value you want to save so 
now we could hit play. Um, as you can see, we have 10 cash. Let's actually, so this actually saves outside of Studio 2. So if you give yourself 10,000 cash in this, it'll give you 10,000 cash in Studio. So now let's turn on our computer and let's buy that upgrade. So now we have a little small cube on his head. We could hit play here again and it will load the small cube. Oh wait, I didn't save, did I? Yeah, I didn't save, okay. Sorry about that. So let's set this to 10,000 again. Uh, so now let's go over. Let's just buy a bunch of stuff. So we got a bunch of stuff for a little guy. Let's save our progress and then let's play. And save the money. Didn't uh, appear to load these. Let me just look at the file real quick. Okay, so I think the problem was this line here. I messed up. It should have been game.workspace.age.value. Instead, it was game.workspace.money.value. Sorry, that was my bad. Uh, I think that may have been the issue. So we'll probably actually have to rebuy uh, some of these upgrades just to test it. So now if we save our progress, there's no error down there. So let's play. And as you can see, it loaded everything in. So we have purple, we have orange, we have the little cube on his head. We have our money underground. Um, so yeah, that was that was data store, that was age. Um, so obviously we need to make sure it deletes the data when they die, so let's set his hunger to two, or maybe not. Let's just, okay, two, let's go back. Let's wait for him to die. So he died, you lost, let's play here. And the data was deleted and we're started over. Um, so if you guys did enjoy this tutorial, um, this series, because I think this is probably going to be the last episode, so if you, did, if you guys did enjoy this series, if it helped you in any way, please subscribe, comment, like, like all the other videos, because it means a lot to me. Um, so thank you for all the support on this series. I plan to be making more tutorial series, and if there is an extra part you guys request, if you need me to teach you how to do something else in Rise of Floppa, then comment it down below, and I might just extend this series one more part. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and bye-bye. Uh,